to get my hotspot working, I had to go to the Google Voice in my browser and delete the extra devices that I had added to my account. So here's what would happen on my Moto G Power, when I would try and enable the hotspot with my data on, it would say checking subscription status and then say your order could not be processed, your plan does not support mobile tethering. So I contacted Track Phone and they said that their hotspot company tech support people were separate and that they would give me a call back and they never called back so I contacted support again they said they're going to contact me they never called me however um, after fixing this issue with multiple devices I found out that I was missing a lot of phone calls because of this conflict and it had nothing to do with track phone it had nothing to do with Motorola it was all Google Voice so if you're not enabling your hotspot because of this problem and you do use Google Voice or you ever have in the past you should check your settings and if you have multiple devices delete, delete all of them except for your cell phone. For the linked numbers, it doesn't matter what you have there. And just a side note, so it's $40 for eight gigabytes of data on track phone, while some other ones you can get unlimited. But the neat thing about this is, is that it carries over for an additional 30 days. So you can essentially pay $20 a month, which is actually technically $40 every two months. And you'll basically have eight gigabytes of data for two months, which comes out to about four gigabytes a month. And it's only going to cost you $20 a month. Now, of course, for your calling, you're going to need to have additional minutes and texts on your account because it's not going to carry over unlimited for an extra 30 days. So after 30 days, it'll revert back to your normal minutes and texts. But that's pretty cool. So I hope this solves a problem for some people. I saw a lot of posts on forums about people having problems specifically with the Moto G power in the hotspot. There's a chance that it could be the problem that I solved, or it could be another problem. If this doesn't solve it, then you're going to have to contact tech support and make sure that they have provisioning enabled for your account. But I wonder if I would have deleted these extra devices to begin with, if the provisioning thing wouldn't have even been an issue. I did contact Motorola before I fixed this, and they basically just told me what my online searches said, which is that track phone, which is my service provider, has to enable provisioning, which is an additional check that they set up to make sure that you're allowed to do hotspotting on their service, which seems to be a, the new thing in the Android operating systems from now on to try and block people from being able to share a hotspot unless the service provider is allowing it. There are apps like FoxFi and some other things which claim to be able to get around that. Uh, none of those apps, um, including, um, I think it's SRNB Labs, a really old app that was for tethering, nothing worked with the hotspot with this problem that I had. Now I could enable the hotspot as long as my data was disconnected. And then I could connect to my phone that way. But since the data wasn't enabled, it was a dead connection. You know, what's the point of connecting to an internet if you don't have internet? Uh, there was a trick I could do where I could have the data enabled and I would enable it. And when the screen would pop up the message saying 
you know your order cannot be processed as long as I left that uh, window on my screen of my phone I could still connect to it but it would say no you know no internet connection or whatever so that's kind of pointless but you know you could go back to the home screen and then navigate back to your hotspot settings and you could enable the QR code on the screen and change your hotspot settings and all of that with this because it uh, the error message would be somewhere else like on your home screen but again you know it's pointless but I was trying everything to get this fixed so I'm hoping that the people that have this rare situation that I have and couldn't get it resolved I hope this fixes it I'm also gonna say that I was able to take my SIM card out of my new Moto G Power phone and I was able to put it in a Moto G 6 phone and the hotspot worked fine and that may be fine for some people but the way I have my phone set up and I was wanting to use two phones one for mapping and one just for my regular phone that way if I got pop-up messages or whatever from somebody, it wasn't going to interrupt my map on my second unactivated phone. Um, so having the map phone be uh, the one that's got the hotspot, that was definitely not the optimum situation because now my primary phone is relying on my older slower phone if you have any questions that go outside of what i've said i may not be able to answer them but i'll try and if this did solve your problem i would really like to know about it because i don't know if anyone else has ever had this problem and that this solved it um, if you solved it in some other way other than contacting support and other than going into your Google Voice settings I'd also like to hear about it I don't recommend doing a factory reset on your phone before you've tried everything else because setting up a phone is not fun and you can end up losing pictures and apps that you've installed and all that kind of stuff. It's just a big headache and you lose a lot of stuff. So contact or try, try the Google Voice thing first. Just even if you haven't used it in a long time or if you've never used it, still check it just to see. And if that doesn't work, try contacting your phone provider. Try using third-party software, and if that doesn't work, you can try contacting your phone manufacturer, but they're probably just going to tell you you're going to have to make sure provisioning is enabled on your account on your service provider. And if what I've said doesn't work, and you've tried other things and they didn't work, then I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. So... Good luck and enjoy your hotspot solution if this worked.